Hey everybody, it's Christine of Twinkle Plans Her Day, and today I'll be planning Valentine's Day week. This is last week's After the Pen. Uh, a viewer suggested that I show the After the Pen, so it's basically a running to-do list. I used all those little boxes for to-dos that I had to do for the next day. But there's really not that much to explain apart from that. It was an uneventful week. Today I'm doing, of course, a Disney spread. Mickey and Minnie make me happy. So I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Their love story is perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to take out, there is a perfect larger sticker for this Sunday. And this is the two of them being so romantic. So that's going to go on Sunday and be my focal point for the week. And I'm going to try to stick to that color scheme. And Mickey will be holding this Valentine's Day card for Minnie. And then I'm going to take out my uh, colorful shapes books. I've got this Valentine's Day book as well from the Be Happy box that came out today. But I don't think I'm going to use it. This is the All, of a, All in a Season box uh, book. And it has a lot of hearts that I found accidentally. wasn't planning on using those, but... I think it's perfect for this spread. I'm gonna have the hearts going around Mickey and Minnie. I was looking for a mailbox, but I didn't find one. So those little hearts are gonna go in the air around Mickey and Minnie. It's already making me super happy. I'm already in love with this spread. And I think a lot of planners decided to use this sticker, this particular sticker, because it's so perfect for Valentine's Day. So I'm hoping not to copy them. So I tried not to look at any other spreads. It was very hard to keep me away from my phone. But I tried not to look, but I know other people did. So I'm going to take out some boxes and see if I can find anything that's cute. I like this red one from Monday. I've got a lot of things to do on Monday. So... That's gonna go on top there. And I think it's gonna balance out just another anchor because it's very heavy on the right side for now. I'm gonna put another box. Oh, I decided to put it back because it was too overpowering. I'm gonna look for maybe some smaller boxes. And here's a good one for Friday, Friday, we're having an in-class Valentine's Day party, as most preschools will. So there's just a couple things I have to remember to bring in, like Valentine's Day cards for the kids and candy and stuff like that, things that we'll bring, be bringing in, decorations, setting up the classroom. And I love the hearts from Colorful Shapes, so I think I'm going to be using these hearts in this spread. We've got some red ones here, and I'm going to cover up that other Disney, that other that other picture of Minnie in that box. I don't want to make it too distracting for I want the focal point to be that large sticker. But I'm going to put on the left hand side some hearts up along the side of the on the sidebar. And I was thinking either I'm going to put my meals like plan my meals in those or just like make it a running to do list in those hearts. Probably I'll do my meal planning. Because I do have, I think, all my groceries for this week already. Because there's a big snowstorm, so I've got everything done. So I can plan out my meals, and I probably won't have to go to the grocery store. Kind of excited about that. <laughs> That's how boring my life is, folks. So I love lap overlapping these hearts together. I think it's a cute little look. I'm going back and forth between the colors. I really love these heart stickers. I actually bought another sticker book just so I can have more of these hearts, which is pretty sad. <laughs> but I do like them so much. And I was debating about how far down I should let the hearts go without it being too much. I think this spread is going to be simple for me. I know I'm really heavy into layering, but I think for this particular spread, I want, to, I want it to keep it simple and have the focus just be a clean spread, like not too busy. I could have left it like this, actually. But I decided to put some washi. I am so getting into the washi. I totally get it now. I was in the dark for a long time. I am now a convert. Do I had the, the, the washi from the Be Happy box, which is stunning. But then I saw the washi, the faux washi from the, in the sticker books, and I thought they worked well. So I just stuck, stuck with that. But if you did order the Be Happy box on, uh, today for the Valentine's Day one, the washi is really, really cute. So I think you'll like that. I mean, you may not get it by Valentine's Day, but it comes once a year. You can have it for next year. It's fun. 
So here I'm doubling up on the washi because I thought it was a little thin. So I just add in another layer to it. And while I'm here, I thank everybody so much for those who came to the Michaels class today. I had so much fun and I really, really appreciate that you came and that you commented and that you um, sent me messages. I really thought, think that's so sweet. And I was really anxious the whole day, so I'm really happy that you guys showed up. So thank you. And this is why this, is why this plan with me is going to be a little late. Here I am doubling up, layering just a little bit just because I can't help myself. A couple of little boxes along the sides. Now that notch, that red, the red box on Wednesday that has that little notch in it, that was not supposed to be there. That's supposed to, that kind of stickers for the monthly page. And I didn't mean to cover it up and I completely forgot about it until I'd already taken the pictures and posted it on Instagram. So, so be it. I can always put a sticker on it afterwards. I just feel bad that I had taken pictures and posted it before fixing that little it's not really an error, but they're adding some checklist stickers, which also is another thing I'm starting to get into. I do find them helpful. I decided to take out the seasonal, the mega pack, the seasonal mega pack for some more hearts. And luckily there are two pages of hearts in there. So I took out some more just to sprinkle along the side with those big hearts just so that it would match a little bit more to the hearts on the other side. Just to make the, the whole page a little bit mo more cohesive. I've got to say, after doing that class on Michaels, I was so tired. The last thing I really wanted to do was plan. But once I got into it, once I put those stickers down, I was really having fun again. And I decided to just let myself have fun, not to give myself any pressure, which is why this plan with me is a little late because I decided I didn't want to rush it. I'm going to take the rest of the day off, so to speak. So I just tried to have fun with it, not to think of anything new or try to be original or out of the box. I didn't want to annoy myself or anybody else with that kind of spread. This was a spread just to be useful and fun and make me happy. And I totally succeeded in that. I didn't, I tried, maybe I felt a little bit pressure, but not as much as I usually do at all. So I was just having fun putting boxes where the days was. I mean, planning is really simple. You put stickers that you like and you put boxes on things you have to do and where you have to be. If you have a dentist appointment, you put a box there. It's not that difficult. <laughs> so I decided to just go with that kind of planning, which I think is going to end up being very good for me for this week. Anyway, that's my spread. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.